The U.S. Army is pulling a 180, now inviting soldiers back after kicking them out for refusing to get the COVID vaccine back in the day. Oh, really? Come on back. Sorry about that. The Pentagon is reportedly is looking to use millions of taxpayer dollars towards their diversity push as well. Peter Ducey is live at the White House to tell us more. Peter? And the Army is having a tough time right now getting people to join. They were 10,000 short of their latest recruiting goals, so they are starting to court people they kicked out for not getting the COVID vax. This letter just went out to about 1,900 people. It says, in part, as a result of the rescission of all current COVID-19 vaccination requirements, former soldiers who were involuntarily separated for refusal to receive the COVID-19 vaccination may request a correction of their military records from either or both the Army Discharge Review Board or the Army Board for Correction of Military Records. Well, what a change, because in February 2022, the Army Secretary said, Army readiness depends on soldiers who are prepared to train, deploy, fight, and win our nation's wars. Unvaccinated soldiers present risk to the force and jeopardize readiness. We will begin involuntary separation proceedings for soldiers who refuse to receive the vaccine and are not pending a final decision on an exemption. There's something else the Pentagon is doing. They are beefing up the budget for diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility training. You look at the 2022 budget for that, 68 million. 2023, 86 and a half million. The 2024 request is for 114 million dollars plus 700,000 uh, and change. And it's not just at the DOD. The Heritage Foundation's oversight project is publishing a sheet that's been given to CBP officers, and it's instructing them to use gender-neutral language with anybody that they encounter until they know that person's name and preferred pronouns. Back to you. So, Peter, Unbelievable. Peter, are these instructions from the White House, or are these from... Pentagon brass saying, okay, this is how we're going to operate this joint now. Uh, it would be coming from uh, the CBP's uh, bureaucratic overlords here in Washington, D.C., going out to all the different uh, branches to the to the men and women on the front line. So in a time in which we're worried about the budget, we're in a deficit, the, the defense budget needs to just picking all the money they can. We're putting it into diversity. Well, they might be worried about uh, potential wars in the Middle East growing and in the South China Sea starting, but they're not there yet, so they've got some extra money laying around. This is so stupid. You got the, it's the Secretary of Defense, ever who's black. You got the now the head of the Joint Chief, who's black. I mean, what, what else are they trying to push? The recruitment overall for the military is down. They're passing out TBIs to our guys on the ground every single day, and there's no response. I'm sure the guys are so happy about this. This is going to bring everybody together. Between now. this and Afghanistan, you can. this is why families are telling their kids they don't want to join. They don't want you so to join. Stupid. Who are serving themselves. Well, and, and, Peter, to your point, the reason, because it's hard to recruit, that's why they're saying, hey, all you people who we dismissed because of COVID, come on back. But even with that, that's only about 1,900 people in the Army that got this letter. They were 10,000 short of their recruiting wow. goal for the yeah. last fiscal year. And okay. so it would make a dent in it. And certainly 1,900 people uh, who are willing to, to serve their country, that is a lot. But it is short of the Pentagon's overall goal here. Every branch except the Marines. All right. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, they Peter. really have messed this up, right? We're going right. to kick you Make out. It worse. You didn't get a so shot. Uh, and so we have fewer men and women that are defending our country. So now they're asking them to come back. Look what's happening in sanctuary cities. Uh, we need to be a sanctuary city. We need to be welcoming of everyone. Oh, well, when they send everyone, when they show then they're everyone. like, oh, we don't want sanctuary status anymore. Uh, this is why certain policies of the previous four years look better and better Absolutely. than what we're experiencing these three years. That's why you don't need to run a campaign ad. Just ask yourself, was like, is, I was why, we're an upside-down you know, world. You know, people, when, you, when we walk out of the public and they mm -hmm. talk to us, they're like, where's the common sense? Four yeah. years ago, when they were implementing all these stupid plans, yeah. people would say, this is just not, this, where's the well, common sense? Well, now people are waking up. Look at the commander-in-chief. I mean, it's obviously part of what he wants in this administration.